Davis. Approaching two minutes to go. In the flat. Can Cole Taylor get there? No, nowhere near the line to make. Tried to go up and over and could not escape from Marco Wilson and Trevez Johnson. Is there a flag down? We have no chance of seeing that from our booth in this fog. He had three routes that would have been first down distance. He dumped it off. So it was an aggressive call. I think what the penalty is going to be because one of the Florida defensive players ripped off the cleat of 87 and threw it down the field. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, wow. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 11 of the defense throwing the LSU player's shoe 20 yards down the field. Unsport uh, this, that's his first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Automatic first down. I don't think I've ever heard an official announce throwing a player's shoe. Well, it and wasn't it wasn't 11. 11. It was Marco Wilson. For the lead in the final 30 seconds. Career long 53. Snap and hold are good. Did he get all of that? It's right down the middle. And it is good from 57 yards. LSU takes the lead with 23 seconds to go. Wow. From 51, it is hooking. It is no good! Barely wide to the left. Florida is upset by LSU in the swamp. He's made four career 50-yard-plus field goals, most in a single season. Cleveland Browns remember the Chicago Bears. It's not over till it's over. Last year in one of the wackiest finishes you will ever see. Four seconds remaining. Brown's looking to hold on. 39 to 37. Green takes the snap. Green steps up. Under some heat. He got rid of it. John Tate is running with the football. Flags come down. And Tate is forced out of bounds at the 25. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, Dwayne Rudd threw his helmet while the play was going on. That's a defensive penalty. The game can't end on a defensive penalty. Dwayne Rudd threw his helmet. He thought he had sacked Trent Green, and in celebration, figuring there's no time on the clock, he took off his helmet. Unsportsmanlike penalty. Number 57, Cleveland, threw his helmet during the play. It's a tack-on penalty, half the distance to the goal. Extended play, extended down. One untimed down. This is First unbelievable. Down. The game cannot end on a defensive penalty. Rudd throwing his helmet is going to give the Chiefs an opportunity for a field goal here to win the game. Look at him there on the left side of your screen. He doesn't even know that John Tate is running with the football. The play is still going on. What a turn of events. What a gaffe. And now it comes down to the oldest player in the NFL, Martin Anderson. He has been Mr. Reliable. This is his first game as a Kansas City Chief. And this is a 30-yard field goal attempt. With zeros on the clock. And this is, this is a disbelieving Cleveland Browns stadium crowd. Gammon will snap it. Straczynski will hold it. Morton Anderson, the oldest player in the NFL. 30 yards away. Anderson, he nails it. Kansas City wins. And Dwayne Rudd goes down as making one of the biggest mistakes in Cleveland Browns history. The Chiefs have just pulled off a miracle down the stretch. And they pull it off 40 to 39 over the Browns. Oh, what a finish. Roethlisberger from the pocket, middle of the field, incomplete. First look, oh, a flag does come in. Went to the head. Lewis Harris is going to be flagged for this on the hit on Antonio Brown, and it's going to put the Steelers in field goal range. 
Perfect was in there too. Perfect, it's coming across the field. I saw it, I thought it was him. Yeah, and that I know that they both were in on the coverages at 55 or 37. Personal foul, defense number 55. 15 yard that? penalty, automatic first down. Perfect in the end. Definitely took the shot to the head. You could see it live. Marvin Lewis, before this drive started, was talking on the sideline the whole time, it seemed like, to Vontez Whoa. Perfect, and yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Brown is still down. That's, of course, flagrant. Out of control. Out of control. It's going to be everything. That's going to be suspension, fine. Here comes the pressure. Corral towards the goal line. It is caught. It is a touchdown. Elijah Moore. And they're an extra point away from tying the game. Markers get thrown after the play. Oh. Uh oh. Big time extra point here. If this is excessive celebration. A sportsman like conduct foul. Eight on the offense. That penalty will be enforced 15 yards on the kickoff. We'll have the trial. One on time down. Now, everybody on the Mississippi State coaches staff here are saying, no, no, right now we want it. Yeah. From the, from the three yard line from the trial. Wow. We'll have it on time down. So, this is going to be an extended extra point try because wow. of the excessive celebration penalty against Ole Miss. So, it comes down to the foot of Luke Logan, the junior from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, a 45 yard extra point to tie the game. The pick is up, and it is no good! There are flags all over the field. The Bulldogs are celebrating. There's still four seconds left in this game. There are still four seconds left. There are still four seconds left. They have stormed the field. They have to get him off. Here's the touchdown by Moore. He got in despite the hit from Dantzler. But Luke Logan, who had an opportunity, and you saw Elijah Moore, the excessive celebration, invoking, invoking DK Metcalf. Luke Logan had the opportunity to tie the game and missed it wide right. But